So you know, that's what a furry is. Yeah, I understand what a furry is, but like, why Foofy? Why are you a furry? Like, what's the appeal? <sighs> there are many things about being a furry that appeals to me. I'll start off with the most basic ones, like, why do I have a fursona? A fursona allows me to put all of my personality into an animal character. It's basically just an animal version of myself. When I get a piece of art of my fursona, it feels really nice because it can capture how I feel or how I want to feel, or I can show feelings that I find very difficult to get out in real life. And all of the art I get feels personal because the character is based on myself. I've also made an original character completely unrelated to myself. That's because it's fun to play around with ideas and have fun with my imagination. I can create my very own universes and stories around my characters. I can just spew out all of my thoughts and ideas and it can act as a massive creative outlet. I mean, I haven't actually made a story around my persona, but you know, the opportunity is there if I ever wanted to. People usually get the inspiration to make a persona after they've played a game like Ratchet and Clank or read a book like Warrior Cats, and then they've really connected with that universe and they want to make their own version of it and put themselves into it. Personally though, I just got the inspiration to make a persona after having seen many other furries having them. <laughs> There's probably more to be said about personas, but mainly it's just a way for me to be expressive about personality and fantasy. Okay, cool, but why do we dress up in fursuits? Suiting around feels kinda like dancing, I just feel free, expressive and full of energy. It's way easier to focus on having fun and forget all about life. I also don't feel as filled with anxiety as I usually do, people can't see my face so all of that stress is taken away and I don't even have to talk when I'm in suit, I can choose to just use body language, which can be extremely fun and it also just takes away so much pressure. Not having to talk with people I'm interacting with just feels so good. Fursuiting is obviously not as fun every time, sometimes it's just purely boring, sometimes you're still filled with anxiety, but you get the point, there's an opportunity there to just have fun and forget everything about life and, you know, be a ball of cool fluff. Last thing I want to mention about fursuits is that come on, you have to agree, they are really freaking cute. Now over to my main reasons for why I'm in this fandom. All the other stuff I mentioned is just the icing on the cake really. This is the cake itself. In this fandom there's a huge overflow of art, animations, music, comics and the community is just filled with creators and extremely creative people with a bunch of fantasy. Seeing all the time, effort and passion that people put into their projects just fills me with inspiration and motivation. It's absolutely amazing. I also love reading comics and this fandom is filled with them, with varied stories, themes and everything and it's all just independently created, it's so amazing! I also really love expressing my creativity and fantasy and this fandom makes me want to be creative and it fuels me with inspiration. There's a ton of bad stuff in this fandom as well, but for me the good outweighs the bad and it makes it worth it to stay here, at least for a little while longer, you know? So that's the appeal of the furry f- oh, oh, you, you've, you've already left. There's a huge part I've just entirely avoided and that's the not safe for rec side of the fandom. There's a lot of furries that are into that and that's not to look away from. If you want more information on that you can probably check out this video right here. That was everything I had to say, uh, thanks for watching, bye bye!